So for the lack of videos that I've been not doing lately, part of the reason is one, I haven't been doing a whole lot to begin with, and then the other reason is uh, there's been this 300 that is like a emergency build for my buddy. That technically it's been going on for about a month, but this is like the fourth time that I've been over to mess with it. The uh, the specs on it are uh, originally we weren't going to touch the motor other than a gear reduction but we found out that the head is completely trashed and this is again why you don't use silicone on heads or valve covers anywhere on these motors ever is because it destroys that cam journal that one's fine but that one's just destroyed I don't even know why cam is destroyed too, valve covers destroyed, all that good stuff's destroyed. So um, we're using the spare head and some other stuff that I had laying around and we're putting um, my, uh, my 317 big bore on it for just uh, overbore because uh, I haven't done anything else with that. And other than that, um, the rest of it, it's a, a, I think it's a 92 model, so that means it's a Gen 1, different style frames as opposed to my blue bike. But uh, we put a two and a half inch, I think, body lift on it to begin with, and we used brute force shocks. And then we did um, 450 Foreman axles and I built a four inch lift that one for some reason I think it's screwed up for some reason I I'm not 100% sure why um, it just is though because it doesn't uh, doesn't want to turn all the way and that one I apparently never finished putting it all the way in the uh, differential because it's partially popped out but right now sitting on my uh, 32 inch silver backs it's got 17 inches of ground clearance underneath the center of the frame on the rear we used one of my 250 big red rear ends that I had laying around um, also used my 300 EX rear shock that much to my surprise it's not super stiff in fact it's kind of it's kind of plush but it's not uh, it's not spongy but it's plush um, we did wheel spacers because he's going to need them eventually anyway, but um, these are all independent rear suspension offset rims, so that helps a little bit. It's still not enough, but he's eventually going to get his own tires and rims. And then um, I built a 5x7. Five 5x7s five is the size of the blades, but a 5x7 axle paddle. I'm going to wait till I have it at my house to brace it right here and there on either side. But uh, other than that, everything's getting ready to go back together now that I finally have gaskets because I lost some of them and I had to reorder. And the first ride is um, the third Saturday of April, so I've got to hurry up and get this crap done. We may or may not be going on that. I, I just haven't decided yet. Um, but pretty much that's where all my time has been for the last I don't know how long. And hopefully whenever we go to either that ride or a different one, um, we'll get some good videos. And I'm sure we're going to video this whenever we get done. Um, trying to think what else. The only other engine modifications that are being done are the experimental gear reduction, which it is a 73%, and that's it right there. And stock clutch basket. And the 450 Foreman clutch. You can see compared to the 300 stock one that 450 is much 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 wider so 
Um, other than the motor issues, this bike actually has not really been that bad of a bike by any means. We got it cheap, so it doesn't matter. This bike was still running just fine, but it had a very, very, very scored up piston on the exhaust side. And in case you can't see the jagged line, there's a crack all the way across the top and all the way through here. I know you can see that one because I can see it on the screen. And there's some that goes partially down here underneath the skirt. And there's even more on the underside that I can't hardly see, but I know that they're there as I saw them earlier with a flashlight. And it's also cracked right there. I have no idea why. I haven't even seen a 300 piston do that, a stock one, unless um, I've seen one that did that on NOS, but I don't, other than that, I don't know why it would have done that. But oh well, it's all taken apart and cleaned up now.